It might be seen as a little unusual for a company called Everything Dinosaur to review a model of a horse. After all, we are usually preoccupied with making video reviews of replicas from the Collector Prehistoric Life Collection. But we are making an exception when it comes to Collector's model of Chevalsky's horse, as this animal has remained unchanged for thousands of years and it would have been very familiar to Stone Age Europeans and Asians. First, let's deal with the pronunciation. As the name is a little difficult to pronounce, even for those of us who have to cope with the dinosauria. This horse is called Przewalski's horse, or more commonly and appropriately, Shivalski's horse. Of course, you could just refer to this animal as the Mongolian wild horse, or indeed, use the Mongolian name, which is the Taki. Shivalski's horse is regarded as the only true wild horse in existence. Although it was believed to have died out in the wild, small populations have been reintroduced into Russia, Mongolia and China after a successful zoo-based breeding and reintroduction program. These horses are stocky, more so than most types of domesticated horse. They also have shorter legs. Average height is around 13 hands high around 130 centimetres tall when measured from the ground, just behind the front foreleg, up to the withers, the top of the shoulder where the neck joins the body. The model measures a little over 16.5 centimetres in length, and the measurement from the ground to the withers is around 7 centimetres in the model. So we estimate that this collector horse is made in approximately 1 to 20 scale. So it works well with other recently introduced collector prehistoric animals, such as the Deinotherium, the Megacerops, and the Woolly Mammoth. The model of Chevalsky's horse is part of the horse model series designed by Californian-based sculptor Deborah McDermott and is included in the Collector Horse Model series. The coat is a dun colour, with a dark mane that stands proud of the neckline. There is black coloration on the lower legs and a long black tail. Cave paintings discovered in France and Spain depict drawings of very similar looking horses. This suggests that these types of animals were a common sight in Western Europe during the Upper Paleolithic. With this horse believed to be extinct in the wild, an international foundation was set up in 1977 to coordinate and manage a zoo-based breeding program using animals that were descended from wild populations captured in the early 20th century. As the population slowly built up, herds were established in several specialised reserves and in 1992 the first Chevalsky's horses were reintroduced into Mongolia. A number of national parks and preserves have been established and it is estimated that Chevalsky's whale population now numbers several thousand. This is a well-crafted, hand-painted replica of Chevalsky's horse, a model that works well with the other prehistoric mammals in the Collector Prehistoric Life model series. This Chevalsky's horse replica and the Collector Deluxe Prehistoric Life range is available from Everything Dinosaur, the UK-based retailer of dinosaur models, toys and games that is staffed by parents, teachers and real dinosaur experts. Visit www.everythingdinosaur.com for all your dinosaur and prehistoric animal product needs. We even sent out a fact sheet on Chevalsky's horse with every purchase of this model. For further information on prehistoric animals that were around during the Stone Age, updates on the latest fossil discoveries, as well as articles and news stories featuring prehistoric horses and other Ice Age animals, log on to Everything Dinosaur's impressive weblog. http colon forward slash forward slash blog dot everything dinosaur dot co dot uk Packed full of information on paleontology and fossils, the Everything Dinosaur blog is a great way to stay in touch with all the prehistoric animal related developments and a super free resource for schools, teachers and school projects. Don't forget to check out Everything Dinosaur's Facebook page for pictures, prehistoric animal data and more information about dinosaurs and other extinct animals. Thank you.